Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to a brand new video on Sword of the Line Fatal Bullet. My name is Vinny Seshkin. Welcome to the video. Super glad to see you guys here. Where are my snipers at, man? You know, my snipers in the house. What's good? All right, boys, I know that I haven't uploaded a video in about a week, but that's okay, though. I've been playing the game. I've been grinding, and I got two new legendary snipers that I, like, broke apart, and I put them back together. I rebuilt these snipers to do what they need to do in defense battle, and I can't wait to show you exactly what I've been able to put together and get your feedback. Let's get right into this. I'm so excited. All right, you did so as always with my fatal bullet videos I'm going to show you my status and then show you my equipment and I can't wait to show you my equipment All right, so these are the stats that I'm working with right now I got a new level um, before the making of this video This is what my character looks like right now with that new level So I didn't put the, the stat points on there I'm probably gonna put them in more decks maybe in a talent I'm not exactly sure where I want to put it But that's what it looked like when I was doing the gameplay that you're about to see in this video that I'm showing off this sniper rifle All right, so this is the build that I'm running with I've got uh, the pistol uh, armor break shot three healing field shot three power form four and then toxic gas blast three power form four i don't know if it does that much of a difference i definitely want to you know compare power form three or four i know obviously there's going to be a difference all right so here it is uh this is the sniper rifle build that i'm running with shield matrix two shout out to you guys that were telling me about shield matrix uh we've got explosive shot two three and four and boys for this defensive battle, Jesus Christ, listen, I am so glad that I've got you guys in the comments that are supporting the videos, showing me, telling me, you know, giving me all of your knowledge because you made the game hella easy. Um, because Explosive Shot 2, 3, and 4, fire. Straight fire. Okay, well, okay, so here is my new sniper rifle. I got it in extreme mode in the lost, uh, the lost, uh, the lost thing. You know what I'm talking about if you've played DLC 3. It's the lost gate, rather. All right, so this is it. This is the stats that I've worked with, and I rebuilt this thing. I put new memory chips on it and stuff like that. I got damage versus mechs. I put that on there specifically. The critical damage, the explosive damage, and the weak spot damage. I put all of that on there on this legendary weapon rank 10. It took me about an hour of grinding in the new dungeon to get this legendary sniper and it's not the best legendary sniper because i do have another one i've got an amr grim reaper that's legendary but i wanted to show you the force 2 first so you can get sort of like a comparison of which one is doing you know better work for me because i did this twice with both sniper rifles and i can't wait to show you the stats on the amr grim reaper because i like the amr grim reaper a little bit better but i kind of screwed up on it a little bit and uh, when i upload that video probably tomorrow or the day after that i can exactly show you exactly what i did and how i think i screwed up uh, i took that knowledge man basically and i put all the knowledge that i gained from screwing up on my sniper rifles and i have oh man i can't wait to make that video too i have a literal god saber oh, i have a god saber i can't wait to show you my god saber but uh for right now defense battle showing you my sniper rifle all right so if you caught my last video jesus christ you caught my last video and uh you saw the struggles that i was going through with defense battle yeah struggles are still real this is uh, defense battle number four i haven't graduated to number five yet i feel like i don't want to graduate to defense battle number five until my shield matrix gets to level three and right now it's still at level two I, I might be able to do it at level two but i don't know whichever comes first i have, get to level 200 because right now i'm literally at level 196 i think i got 96 last night once i was testing out no actually i was grinding i was grinding to build my 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 god i'm a god saber i'm just gonna call it god saber i was grinding to build it it might be a demigod saber actually because it's not exactly probably the best that you can get but that's enough about the, the photon blade but i'm doing this defensive battle number four and i was trying to see the extent of the power of the force two with all these upgrades right because i know explosive damage has to be high so i got that extra memory chip to put in there weak spot damage is needs to be high too so i tried to put all those things together i literally scoured all the weapons that i had to put all those different attributes on this sniper rifle that's why i said in the intro that i broke it down and built it up and you know what can i can i admit something to you you ever do something that makes you feel so stupid i feel so stupid and maybe there's somebody that can benefit from this knowledge okay so literally this is what happened right so you know how you can go to the lobby center and talk to the the offices with the blue silver hair and you can get unlock chips and memory unlock chips and all of those things yeah well you can get those with metals right <laughs> this is so stupid bro I didn't know that you can go to the shady material shop in extreme mode. This is where I did it. It could do it in normal mode, but I went to extreme mode. But I didn't know you could do the shady material shop in extreme mode and buy unlocking chips. So most of the time, what's taking me so long is literally having to go and grind to get the metals that I needed 
the weapon medals that I needed to go and get new chips. And then on top, I went to the shaded material shop to upgrade a weapon. And I saw it at the top, you can buy memory chips and unlocking chips and you don't have to do the medals. And I felt so dumb. I immediately bought 999 of both. So that's literally what took me so long to like put the video out because I was putting this stuff together to, uh, to get this gun where I needed to be. So that was my stupid 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 self being stupid and not knowing about the game. I guess it's not really being stupid it's just not knowing so that's why I say your comments and advice and tips down in the comment section bro you guys help so much and I wish that I would have had that knowledge because it would have saved so much time so if you're out there and you're like trying to put together your weapon or whatever like that and you don't know that you can go to extreme mode and get those unlocking tips you can buy them you can buy them all right but anyways so basically what I did was I took all the the current inventory that I had and then I found everything that was relevant to this bite, this fight, such as the explosive damage and the weak spot damage and the critical rate and stuff like that. I don't think actually this force has critical rate. I'm not sure. I got to go back and check it again. But you, you saw the stuff that this sniper has on it. So I put all these things together and I went up against this defensive battle mech tank thing. Was it a little bit easier fight? I honestly can't say for sure if it was easier than the last time. I can say that I know what I'm doing now a little bit. I know what I'm doing and I know, so it was easier in that front. As far as damage, I I can only assume that it does more damage. Like I posted a clip of the force. I think it was the force doing 200,000 points of damage um, on my community tab in the YouTube channel. So if you haven't gone to the community tab, I do post things there every now and then to show you exactly, hey, I'm still here. I'm still grinding. I'm still working to make videos because I, I don't want to make just a random video with Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet no more, you know, because I feel like on YouTube, there ain't a whole lot of people making Fatal Bullet videos. And I want to give you like quality video when I do it you know I want to make sure that I know half of what I'm talking about so then I can you know give you the goods and stuff like that for the video and that's what I'm doing right now this force 2 is it a good sniper rifle is it better than the AMR Grim Reaper I, I don't want to I don't I don't think so I don't think so it's doing good right now and it works it works I might be able to take it into rank 5 I'm you know stop being a coward and just try out the rank 5 defense battle but I wanted to do the four and be able to like really accomplish that without any problems. And for the most part, with the force two, I was able to do that. Weapon rank 10 sniper rifle. Again, um, I got it through grinding the Lost Gates dungeon in extreme mode. And I forget exactly what area that I was at. I just ran in there with the strongest assault rifle and freaking launcher that I had. And then I got a bunch of crap to drop. And then just so happens, luckily enough for me, one of the rooms that I got in, it dropped the legendary sniper rifle once i saw it was a rank 10 i was very very happy about that um so the defense battle number of rank four the fourth one doesn't really drop a whole lot of powerful weapons man it drops rank eight weapons so i feel like you're gonna have to go to five six maybe even seven to get the more powerful weapons i'm not exactly sure where the the rank nine and ten weapons drop at so if you guys could definitely let us know that down in the comments i do believe somebody even asked the question where to farm rank nine photon blades at and listen for you that type that question in the comments if you're watching this video right now listen i am gonna search for you i'm gonna search for you but pretty sure that k or somebody one of these uh photon experts photon blade experts in the comments they can tell you exactly where to farm it i'm pretty sure somebody on google has a way to do it but as of right now i don't know like a really reliable place like i was playing the game last night um and trying to grind to make the demigod saber and i found some places where where photon blades drop but it was in the extreme version of the lost the lost gate dungeon so I'll, I'll probably make a video showing you exactly where i got my photon blades but um we'll do that in the next video i know i keep talking about photon blades a lot just because i love photon blades and i did not have not left myself any time i did want to talk a little bit about alicization and uh, listen are you guys okay with me making like separate videos just talking about alicization as an anime like literally literally let me know that down in the comments, man, because if you guys are okay with me making videos, talking about it, maybe even do like a reaction to the videos. I don't know about face cams and stuff like that because I'm super, super duper ugly, but I would love to like react to the episodes and talk about everything that I see in the episode because uh, I actually like the anime. The last episode that came out, the uh, one where they went into the cave after uh alice's sister i can't remember that chick's name bro it i only watched it the one time man i guess if i'm gonna make a reaction video to the episodes i gotta watch it like multiple times but i've got a crunchy roll um 
uh, membership so I can watch it as many times as I want. I love Crunchyroll. Seriously, the, the GOAT go-to. But uh, as far as the episode went, very slow. But it it showed us some things, you know? Like when Kirito was talking to Yu-Gi-Oh! And he was like, you know what system means? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! was like, you know, saying system to activate his spell or whatever like that. And that's another thing, too. That's really cool. Can Yu-Gi-Oh! do magic? Or can anybody do magic? Because he just did that low, you know, sacred art spell to make the, fl uh, the flower glow just like Alice did. So I'm thinking that anybody can do magic. And I think it would be really, really dope if Kirito could do magic too. That would be awesome. I really like the episode though. As You know, it wasn't that slow. I like it because it's, you know, describing more about what's going on and, you know, what they can do to this tree. Like, I wonder what's going to happen if they ever do, you know, anything with this tree. Will they be able to cut it down, or was the tree just a way for us to show how strong that sword is? Because that sword that UGO found in the Dragon Bone Cave, that thing is dope. And I would love to see Kirito really rip things apart with that sword. That would be dope. I, I just I'm I'm thrilled about this world that they're in, and I can't wait to see like more about it. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely stoked to see the next episode. If you guys have any comments about that last episode, definitely let me know down in the comments and we can talk about it. Because I love reading the comments on this channel. You guys are awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, listen, that's it. Force 2, good. Is it better than the AMR Grim Reaper Legendary Rank 10 with all the stuff added to it? We'll find out. You saw what this thing was able to do. Next video that I upload, because I've already got the gameplay. All I got to do is cut it and put it together. We'll see which one did better and we'll do like a comparison. But uh, listen, my name is Vanessa SGN. Thank you guys. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I appreciate it. And if you did enjoy it, slap a like on it and check out one of these other videos. Peace out.